Praised be Jesus and Mary. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Vincent de Paul. It was a deathbed conversion of a dying servant that opened Father Vincent's eyes to the spiritual needs of the peasantry of France. This seems to have been a, a crucial moment in the life of a uh, priest from a small farm in France who had uh, actually become a priest with little more ambition than to just have a comfortable life. It was uh, the Countess de Gandhi, whose, whose servant he helped and who persuaded her husband to uh, support a group of able and zealous missionaries who would uh, work among the poor and the country people in general. Uh, Father Vincent was too humble uh, to accept leadership at first. But after uh, working for some time in Paris among imprisoned galley slaves, he returned to, uh, to be leader of what is now known as the Vincentians. And uh, these priests uh, devote themselves entirely to uh, people in uh, smaller towns and villages, at least during his time. And later, uh, St. Vincent established confraternities of charity for, for the spiritual and physical relief of the poor and the sick in each parish. And from these, with the help of uh, St. Louise, uh, came the Daughters of Charity, whose uh, convent, it said, was the sick room and whose chapel was the parish priest and whose cloister was the streets of the city. He organized the, uh, the rich women of Paris to collect uh, funds for his missionary projects. Uh, he founded hospitals, uh, collected relief funds for the victims of war, and he ransomed over 1,200 galley slaves from North Africa. He was zealous in uh, conducting retreats for, for the clergy of the time um, when, when there was great laxity and uh, there was abuse and, and ignorance among the, the priest. He was also a pioneer in clerical training and was instrumental in establishing seminaries. And what's most remarkable, uh, St. Vincent, by temperament, was a very uh, irascible person. Even his friends admitted that uh, he said that except for the grace of God, he would have been hard and repulsive, rough and cross. But he became a, a tender and affectionate man, very sensitive to the needs of others. Pope Leo XIII made him uh, the patron of all charitable societies and of Outstanding among these, of course, is the, uh, the Society of St. Vincent de Paul, which was founded in 1833 by his admirer, uh, Blessed Frederick Ozanam. In, the, in today's Office of Reading, St. Vincent reminds us that uh, you know, Christ chose to be poor, and he chose for his apostles uh, men who were poor. And uh, Christ said that no matter, you know, what we do to these least brethren of his, we do to him. So what a motivation to, uh, 
to works of charity, especially the poor.